Calamata Stamp Chasers, we hope everyone is feeling and doing well. As we continue on our Greek Islands getaway series from Mykonos, we sail overnight to Kusadasi, Turkey. Here is some footage from our short excursion to Harem Carpet Kiln and Jewelry Market, where we learn about silk harvesting and the process that goes into making carpets. I would first like to say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jimit, and uh, I'll take you around this place. Uh, I'm hoping that you'll enjoy every minute of it, because this place gives you a good idea, ladies and gentlemen, definitely a real good idea about how these carpets are made, you know, what we use in making them. Uh, we'll see the whole process from the beginning to the end. And in the end, I have some beautiful rugs to show you, some complete uh, rugs. Uh, so this way, you'll possibly have an idea of what these carpets are all about. This is our national art, by the way. Okay, handmade carpets of Turkey. Now, uh, as the very first thing, we have this real interesting silk. Yeah. These are wild silk worms, or you yes, farm them? Yeah. No, 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 wild, you wild don't farm them? No, we don't farm them, we don't do. It's from the city of Kursa, that's about two hours of drive from where we are. Where we have all these uh, millions and millions of them. And, and you, somebody collects them after they, sure. after they, you know, yeah, butterfly. yeah, yeah. Now, with the help of this blackboard, hopefully you can see oh how to hold it. Yeah. It's coming out. Oh, yeah. right? Ladies and gentlemen, here we are looking at the average number of 25 to 30 of those peppers, okay, fibers put together, giving us such a single tiny thread. But it's not the end of the story, because what happens is, after all, we combine, we put another five of these together, and re-spin, okay, end up with the right thickness of silk. So that totals up to like 120, 125 of these average, uh, single fibers put together and spun, okay, gives us a real, good, nice silk thread, which I'll uh, soon show you inside. So, Silk yarns, as you can see. Uh, silk cannot observe natural dyes. Right? That's the reason why we have to use chemical dyes, and that's the reason again why mm. the art of silk carpet making dates back to the 18th century only. Before that, they did not know what to do with it. It was just wool. Uh, they do this little different, and that's what they call single knots or Persian knots. Now, speaking of a double nut, let me ask her to slow down, <laughs> so that you can possibly see what we mean when we say a double nut. So in the Turkish double nutting technique, ladies and gentlemen, what she does is uh, goes around two threads, okay, two vertical mm -hmm. threads to tie the nuts. Are you able to see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas in the single, it's a little different. So uh, let me ask her to show you a couple of single Persian nuts on this loom, so that you can see the uh, basic difference between the rugs made in this country and carpets coming out from different parts of the world. They show us a couple of signals now. Thank you, English mm -hmm. Let's see it again. So in this case, she goes round one. Okay, just one. Easier to tie it. Uh, but I'm not saying that it's a bad way of making a rug, of course not. I think that's so interesting about this. What is it? Wow. I would like to. And draw your attention to the colors. Colors being the result of using natural dyes. Okay, not chemicals. So in natural dyes, it's the kind of dye that these people uh, still obtain from nature. Most regions of Turkey, okay, by using different plants, flowers, roots, or leaves, or even fields, insects of that. Okay. I'm taking ten home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. So all wool. These are all wool. These are all wool. You see, they all look different. They all yeah, look they different in yeah. each other because they were made in different parts of the country. In other words, each is in your guest and in different guests. I like that little royal thing. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes
And these are again what we call, what we generalize as nominee grants. They are just made by nomads. Are you familiar with nomads? In that case, you see them using rule all the time to make these drugs and natural drugs, as I said. Yes, sir. Is Samathina, is that the different rule, the different animals? Different region, no, the different region. That's how they get used to make drugs. It just depends on the region. It's not how they spun it to make it bigger or bigger. Yeah. Yeah. They first make the rug and relay the game to get this beautiful modern look on this rug. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, still more long present, but something interesting, you may find this being interesting, shows how to look cool, ladies and gentlemen. That means no dice, no nothing, okay? Like different lamps, wool, sheep's wool, dog, safe, cat, may, whatever. Put together, those are such an interesting in this country. You may be familiar with the Angora Yeah. That's what this joint is all about. Now please watch the colors carefully on this rug. They are going to rotate the rug around and see if it's going to look different or not. Did you see that? Looks different. <laughs> Now watch it again. Uh, <laughs> it's not only this right, any one of these drugs with no exception will change whether depending on the annual you're looking at them. Mm, so soft. Oh my gosh. She's touching these right. So soft. <laughs> As an exception, this is an exception. On that right now, we combine three basic materials. They're all put together. We have silk, we have wool, and we have cotton. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. These are 100% silk. It's really pretty. I like that one too. Are these like prayer rugs, these smaller ones? Which one? Prayer rug? That's more like a prayer rug for community. Just symbolic, symbolic, but that's a typical prayer rug to my right. Design wise. Ladies and gentlemen. Superior, not superior quality, but something real different. Carpets made by uh, that family. Uh, it's a world famous family actually called Chinna. They have won the Magnificent Carpet Award in Atlanta in 2017. And the designs were very similar to this right here. Oh, wow. That's a deep, now it's deep turquoise. Oh, yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. How many of you have been looking at the shoes off? You can see it there. So what's that one mic from? What's that? Seal sir. Pure seal. Pure seal. So how long to make that one? That's over, over two years of work by two ladies, okay, sitting side by side and work for the same row at the same time. Oh, wow. Uh, Fam Chasers, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. If you've booked a unique shore excursion or a tour, please share your experience in the comments. As a whole, Turkey and comparable shopping are a stone's throw from the legendary excavation of the ancient Ephesus and the terrace houses, one of the largest and most complete ancient cities in the world.